Does any of you have a sixth sense? If you have, you would be known to be having an extrasensory perception or ESP. You might have all seen the famous American supernatural psychological thriller film titled The Sixth Sense written and directed by Manoj Knight Shyamalan which was released in 1999. It stars Bruce Willis as a child psychologist whose patient can talk to the dead and is said to have a supernatural extrasensory perception. You must have all heard of many supernatural stories which are based on this sixth sense. That is why we ask you if any of you have this sixth sense. Well, if you have a sixth sense, you would probably have known by now the contents of this video. However, if you are still clueless, let us see if we can develop some right here. But after our usual intro. Homo sapiens sapiens are generally known to have five senses which are related to our sensory organs of eyes, nose, ears, skin and tongue. The senses are therefore the ability to see or vision, the ability to smell or olfaction, the ability to hear or auditory perception, ability to touch or feel or the somatosensory system and the gustatory system or the ability to taste. It is basically how our brain reacts to stimuli to provide us information about the external world and about one's self or self-awareness. The sensory organs supply this information to our brain which decodes this and presents us with what we call as perception. A sense may be defined as a mechanism in the body which allows a human or an animal to receive special information about the world and transmit it along nerve pathways to the brain. Each sense has its own specialized cells for picking up its own particular type of information, sounds, taste, sights and so forth. And each sense has its own area in the brain where the information it garners is monitored. The data picked up and processed for us by the senses are either of a physical or a chemical nature. Ears and eyes, for example, are stimulated physically by sound or light waves. Taste and smell are produced by chemical contact with taste buds or olfactory centers. Each sense has what science call its specific disposition. This means, for example, that our visual sense will not, as a rule, be aroused by a loud noise or our auditory sense by a touch. Even from ancient days of Aristotle, humans have believed that any information that reaches our brain apart from the five sensory organs must be supernatural. Indeed, information about the senses has been of first interest to scientists and philosophers alike as such information does present answers concerning the nature of reality and the perennial question of how we know, what we know and whether we really know it. For the past hundred years or so, research on the senses of humans and animals has led to a mass of information extraordinary in amount and kind. Here is where we use science to break the myth. It is a misconception that Homo sapiens have only five senses. Let us first do an experiment before we begin to unravel our true senses. Close your eyes and try to touch your nose. You would have been able to touch your nose without having seen the nose or your fingertip. You can do this with any of the parts of your body. You can touch the fingertips like this or touch your ears without having the need to see. So tell me which one of your sensory organs is responsible in allowing you to touch your nose without seeing. It's not any one of these. Your body has other senses which relay information about your body, your immediate environment and even what happens within the body to your brain. And these 
happen without any supernatural intervention. These biological senses have always existed, but it is science which has paved the way for its identification. Depending on how you quantify it, humans have been identified as having nearly 20 senses. Let us see another example. We often relate our skin as the sensory organ that provides us information through touch. However, the skin can perceive information without touch. When we touch anywhere on our body, let's say, let's try it on a hand. When we touch here, we not only feel the touch, but can also feel the pressure. We can also perceive pain. We call it nociception. We also can find out if light falls on it. We can also feel heat on our skin. It is called thermoception. All these are different stimuli but we are able to sense it using our skin even without touching. All these are separate sensory perceptions that we all have. When we try to touch our nose in the experiment that we did earlier, the sensory perception that enabled us to accurately understand the location of our nose is called as proprioception. The ability to detect and understand about the space around us is what causes us to sense in this case. You must have all experienced this in your life while climbing stairs. You are able to climb up or down a stairs without seeing the stairs. This is because your proprioception is a sense that enables you to know where the next step is. The same sense is in action while you are eating in darkness. You can continue eating your food even if there is a power outage. Another example of this at work is seen when you drive a car. You are able to judge the space that the car occupies on the other side where you are sitting. People who struggle to parallel park are often found to have a shortage of this sensory perception. Our sense of balance is yet another sense that helps us maintain our body posture. There is another sense called chronoception. This enables us to understand the passage of time. You can if not most accurately judge how much time has passed since you started watching this video or how much time you have spent doing something without the use of our normal five senses that is without having to look at a clock there are other sensory perceptions that have not been named as of now like the fullness of the stomach the feeling that you get when you are eating food and your stomach tells you when you have eaten your fill. This is when your stomach tells your brain that it has received the adequate quantity of food and your brain tells you to stop eating by making you experience the fullness of stomach. On the contrary, it is yet another chemoreceptor which makes us feel hungry or thirsty. Also, when the concentration of carbon dioxide increases in your environment, the brain directs the lungs to make you feel suffocated thereby helping your body to regulate the amount of air that it should take in. There is a sense working to regulate the amount of salts and minerals in your blood. Also, the urge for us to go to the toilet is also directed by another sense within your body. Nausea or vomiting is also caused by another sense that works within our body which is directed by the great brain of ours. Hence, there are around 20 such senses which are working within your body apart from the conventional five senses. Now, there is another aspect of our senses that we need to mention. That is called as multi-sensory perception. This is when more than one of our senses act together to send a collection of information for the brain to decipher. People who have traveled in flights would have definitely experienced this. During takeoff, you will feel that the front of the aircraft tends to tilt upwards during takeoff. However, you are seated on the seat which is also rising. So in effect, you should not feel the upward shift. However, the sense of balance that we mentioned earlier informs the brain that there is a tilt in the posture. This is done using a liquid which is found in our ear which helps us to maintain our balance. If we relied 
only on our visual senses we should not see the slant however there is another sense which is telling you that the aircraft is tilting this is an example of multi sensory perception non human animals experience sensation and perception with varying levels of similarity to and difference from humans and other animal species for example mammals in general have a stronger sense of smell than humans some animal species lack one or more human sensory systems some have sensory systems that are not found in humans while others process and interpret the same sensory information in very different ways for example some animals are able to detect electrical and magnetic fields air moisture or can detect uv light while others sense and perceive through alternative systems such as echolocation in bats and dolphins recently it has been suggested that plants may be able to detect and interpret environmental information in an analogous manner to animals thus there are many curious aspects to our sensory system that are otherwise unknown to us but they do continue to regulate things within our body due to paucity of time we will stop here and would maybe continue in a later video so to summarize telling that you have a sixth sense is actually short changing your real sensory powers and it is not claiming that you have supernatural powers so go ahead dare anyone that from today you just don't have a sixth sense you have about 20 senses you are indeed a superhuman and you can thank evolution for it if you like this video please share this video so that the information reaches many others and they can benefit from it see you next time in yet another video by pale blue thoughts till then it's bye bye